right so if i write the code web driver driver equals to new firefox driver and driver dot get hold on let me import firefox driver as well yeah if i go to the website yahoo dot com right fine so if you go there uh, who's not able to hear me somebody saying that he's not able to hear me is everybody able to hear me that uh, you, you can write driver.getyahoo.com and after going to yahoo you can find driver.find element by the id of the element okay if i open up a mozilla browser mozilla if i go to yahoo uh oh yahoo is not opening wow yeah so it's opening now so if i uh, go to this yahoo browser then i have uh, this text field on the top the search field where i can search anything fine so over here um some all right so this is firebug and if i observe the search field out here okay then this was the id of the element Okay, this was the name of the element, right? So you like yesterday I told you you can identify the element by the ID or you can identify it by the name, right? If I write the name over here as P, right? You can find the element on the page and you can actually write out here web element text field. Or search field, whatever it is, equals to driver dot find element by the name p. Now, what you have to do with this web element can be decided on the next line. That is, search field dot send keys will uh, type in something inside it. If I type line, then it will type line inside the field, right? So, by class has got various locator strategies which help you. to locate the elements if i write by dot you get all of them okay right you get all the strategies and like xpath is also one of them so what is xpath suppose the element is not having any id any name nothing not all the elements on a web page have a id for example if i talk about this text asian stocks ended up right if i look at this text then this text okay it has got an id hold on okay everything on yahoo has an id yeah for example if i look at this text featured videos then this is a h2 tag it's again got a id okay hold on i'll go to some other site say bbc.com hold on so if you go to bbc.com <clears throat> if you open up firebug hold on right suppose i look at the news uh, tab on the top right or if i look at some other text from bbc or if i look at the search field out here right so not everything on this page will have an id 
if i look at link this link out here right this link has got no id so not element not all the elements on the page will have an id okay right so how do i detect those elements which don't have an id so for them we use something known as xpath or css selectors and all right so um, let's talk about xpath first what actually xpath is fine if xpath is like the address of an element on the page for example everybody lives in a certain house right that that house has an address so similarly xpath has an address okay so how is the xpath formed it is actually formed from the page source right hold on i'll just tell you there are two types of xpath primarily primarily there are two types of xpath one is known as complete xpath other is known as partial xpath okay so complete xpath and partial xpath these are the two types of xpath which are there with a website right or with a, with with an element inside the website right so the complete xpath starts from the html tag suppose uh, this is the tag which in which i am interested suppose i am interested in the news tag so this is the news tag right so partial xpath will start like so complete xpath will start like this it will start from html tag inside html tag there are two tags head and body okay our element is in, is located inside the body tag so it will go inside the body tag inside the body tag there are so many tags right our element is located inside this division okay so inside the body tag there are many division tags and all so basically we are interested in this division because our element is interested is located inside this division so this division is actually the first and the second division inside the body tag the highlighted division is actually the second division inside the body tag so it will be like div 2 like this so we will keep on traversing the tag names okay until we reach the object which in which we are interested this link okay so until we reach the object we are interested in we will keep on traversing so this is how complete xpath is formed it is like the address of the element from the start of the document taken into consideration the starting tag of the document okay right now um hold on um this kind of xpath is not good we first of all how do we calculate it we don't have to calculate it manually every time okay you, there are tools available there is a tool available uh, known as firepath <clears throat> firepath is a tool which helps you to find the xpath okay and it's actually a add on on firebug okay right these these are actually add ons for suresh i'll talk about it it's actually an add on for firebug for example if you go to google and type firepath firefox
you'll get the first link i'm just talking in context to mozilla right now i'll come to chrome and i right in firefox you click on add to firefox and it will be added restart your firefox okay and if you look at firefox now sorry firefox now you'll have a tab known as firefox out here okay right so firefox is installed on top of firefox make sure firefox is installed only after that install firefox okay now if you select this if you click on this drop down there will be various options select the option generate absolute expert select it that means generate a absolute expert means generate the complete expert complete expert is also known as absolute expert okay now if i move my mouse over suppose any element the news element i will get the complete expert of this element out here right this is the expert okay so any element you want to find the expert you can find this is the expert so expert can be used to identify the objects as well how do we do that we'll talk about it but we'll just understand the concept first fine no this kind of expert is not good because the expert starts from the base of the document goes to the end of the document in between suppose the developer changes something a new tag is added or an existing tag is modified or replaced or something happens right the website changes right absolutely the the absolute expert will just go for a toss you have to change maximum expats of your application which is not an easy thing and not a good thing to do okay you should always try to make a code in such a way that there is any change on the website the impact on your automation step is the minimum obviously if the developer changes the complete look and feel of the site then you can't help right obviously at in that point of time you'll have to change your expert